morning guys welcome back to the lake life family channel it is raining out here so we're actually gonna go inside really quick um, it is early in the morning and Justin and I are headed out to a special park for a week a national park and we're not gonna exactly tell you where we're going until we get there see if you guys figure out where we're going but we decided that this week we would take our baby moon I am officially bump status this week I'm 23 weeks pregnant it's a great time for us to travel and we had a little break in Justin's schedule also it's our sixth anniversary in a couple of weeks so we just decided to do all in one trip together Justin's got the new camper which we haven't even shown on this channel yet and we will get to all of that so much has happened since the last time that we talked we are about to drop off this little one over at Mimi's house for the week Bless you, Mimi, for taking her for a week because mom and dad, it's been probably a year since we've had a trip to ourselves and we are so looking forward to it. So we're gonna be bringing you guys along just a little bit, kind of show you around the camper that we got and all the um, journeys that are about to happen. We're so excited and so excited to bring you guys along. So stay tuned to see where we park this thing. Drinking smart water, not doing smart things. Uh, I didn't even realize. Man, pump number 13, but... You should know this by now. We're going to the desert. <laughs> Things can happen. Well, at least the sun has come out and it is not raining anymore. And we are going into the desert. We are going west. We're probably about, uh, I don't know, three hours into our trip. We still got four or five hours left to go. Guys, we're gonna go completely into the unknown. Neither one of us have been to this place. Wild West, old Comanche territory. This is a trip that Steph has wanted to do. Uh, she has drugged me along somehow. There's no water. I've dragged so. you along. You're not driving. <laughs> You're taking me in my pregnant uh, belly. <laughs> yeah, but this was your idea to go on a baby moon. Yes. Uh, to the desert, essentially. And uh, this is our first trip ever where Turn there's right not any water around. West. No fishing, guys. No fishing for me. So this is going to be... It's gonna be uh, an adventure. We got the Opus, and we're gonna be doing some overlanding and uh, basically some desert camping. It's been uh, uh, everything's up now, basically. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what is gonna happen. We could be sleeping with the coyotes <laughs> or the bears. It's gonna be wild. So, uh, so. buckle your seatbelt, honey. Okay, okay. Because it's gonna be a wild one. Here we go. We haven't seen a car in 30 minutes. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing out here, folks. I've ran out of diesel before in this thing. It's not a pretty thing. I mean, if you ran out of gas out here on this highway, there's nobody coming it'd be to get you. Catastrophic. Luckily, we went ahead and got a reserve tank, uh, five gallons of diesel. So if we get down to the low, 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 uh, we can stop. But hopefully, we'll see the town before then. But we got the wind against us with this camper. I'm getting terrible get a fuel mileage, 12.5. I normally get like 15 <laughs> with it. So um, this is interesting. It's looking like we're in a Western movie right now. It's kind of cool. So before we left on this trip, I asked Justin, I was like, How, what was the furthest west you've ever been? Because growing up, we always went to Arizona. My entire family is from Arizona. So we would always pack up the car kids, mom and dad, get in the Suburban, head out west to go to Arizona. There oh gosh, is. low fuel. <laughs> yeah, there it is. We're probably going to have to, uh, yeah, we're going to have to tank up. All right. So. But every time I come out west, it's very nostalgic. Like I love, I don't know, there's something about the desert that's just, it feels like home to me because taking those 16 hour road trips with brother and sister, mom and dad, all of us squished in a car with the snacks. It's just, I love it. I love the feeling, so. How are you loving this? <laughs> you know, my pregnant self really needs to stretch. A pregnant, pregnant lady in the middle of uh, the <laughs> desert with no, no fuel, about to run out. We do have snacks. We, we do have snacks. <laughs> if we break down right snacks. here, we can live for two weeks. <laughs> And that's exactly what we're going on. So that's why I brought him out here because he's never seen the West and he's getting full experience. 
Western. I've, I've seen the West. We're in the South right now. Yeah, the Southwest. We are on the border the of Mexico. The just Southwest. Just so everyone understands, that is South. Southwest. Drink up, little baby. I'm so glad I got this can. <laughs> Me too. Can you imagine? I can. lid this is the infamous lid that you have fought me with since we went to Colorado the first time I had to buy it at Bucky's like almost hidden behind my back because you wouldn't let me buy it. I was like you know that lid doesn't fit no, anything no it doesn't but you know what to keep out flies and to keep the heat in you need a lid I don't care what size <laughs> so we have made it and we are we're at campsite number one for the week yes uh, right here in Big Bend Park at the Chizos Mountain Basin. And we should be looking at a pretty sweet sunset. Stars should oh, be unbelievable yes. tonight. Unbelievable. And uh, it's a good start to the trip. I'm already sweating. It's just, it's just 95 degrees. I'm already so sweating. Mama hot. <laughs> Belly butt. Mama hot. <laughs> Belly's already sweating. No, I'm starving. So I think we're going to eat. You're going to eat some pork and baked beans. <laughs> 95 degree heat. Hop up in that sunset. camper and get a nice sweaty. <laughs> Night's sleep. <laughs> Absolutely awful. <laughs> Welcome this was to a baby your mood. Your choice. <laughs> She's a little ornery. By the trash cans. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. They're eating the yucca plants. The park ranger told us there's, there's little grubs that live in the yucca plants and they like to eat those. And they eat the yucca too. What? So they climb up these little yucca trees and they eat the yucca on top. It's amazing. It's like, I expected a bear to climb like a pine tree, you know, get like a honeycomb or something. Never in my life did I expect to see a bear climbing a cactus, essentially. You guys, did you think we would be seeing bears here. I'm so excited that we saw a bear. That was so cool. I was like, when we first got down here, we saw a sign that said bear country. And we were like, I wonder if I actually see a bear. Yeah. And, we, and then the park ranger, when we got in, he was like, there are bears that live here, but they're pretty scarce. And they're super docile. But he said they're super docile. If you see one that comes up to you, just say, no bear, <laughs> go away, like a stray dog. No, no bear. Kidding. And they're, they're only like 150 pounds, they're Mexican black bears. And we just saw a mama and a couple Two cubs. cubs. So, so cool cute. first night here after eating dinner. And now the sunset's going down. Yeah, it's like, I feel like that's a good sign. It's, it's looking like, awesome. I was a little worried coming in. We were both a little I was worried. Like, Ooh, I, don't, I don't know about this, babe. We're going into the desert. And then we show up and it's like just little tents everywhere. And I, I was like, I don't know if we have enough room to park our, our camper. Turns out worked perfectly. And we got to see bears. Yeah. So awesome. First and we day. have great points for the next several days of interest. So 
I think it's gonna be a fun trip. So Buckle up. I think the entire bear ten hours coming down here, you were on my case going, This is your fault. This is your fault. This is what you wanted to do. Are you sure you wanted to do this? So we're here, we're doing it, and I think you're gonna love it. Yeah. Outdoor paradise. In the <laughs> desert. I will say it is uh ninety five degrees and there's gnats everywhere. everywhere. So we'll see how you see how pregnant hot mama with gnats flying around man guys what a awesome way to end i mean we just got 20 yards away from a bear and two a mama bear and two cubs i always thought if you saw that you're dead or we're in a different state not in texas but especially south texas i will say they were pretty small bears like that full-grown mama it was I a little might, scrawny I might take her on. <laughs> yeah She's walking right through the camps. Well, we might better get back to our camp to make sure all food is put up and yeah. she doesn't come crawling up into yeah. our bed. No, it's a real deal. Uh, actually, every uh, every place here at the park has a place where you put your uh, food in. So if you're tent camping, you have a safe place to put your food so that they don't come in your tent. And, you know, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to our home. For the night. I'm excited to get a cold shower in and <laughs> tuck myself into bed. <laughs> will you really? Will you take a cold shower? Uh, I will there? I will take a cold shower. I hate cold showers but I'm feeling it this trip. <laughs> you can't take a hot shower. The sun is going down over there. Beautiful sight. We saw bears tonight and mm. we have a chance to see rattlesnakes and mountain lions. Well, you know I'm good without the rattlesnake or the mountain lions. <laughs> And we are staying in an actual campground tonight, but the next few days we're going to be going at different parts of the park to absolute desolate. Like there's going to be no one around, so it should be should be interesting. We'll be on our own devices, but anyways, we'll see you tomorrow in Big Bend Country. Is that it? I was about to say in the woods. <laughs> we're in not the woods? in the woods. No. <laughs> we're in the desert. See y'all tomorrow.